Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you've probably seen the title, today's video is going to be another compassion video. And that's because I got another letter from my sponsor child. Now, I'm always excited to get these, but I'm extra excited today because it's a little thicker than it normally is. And I think that means there might be some pictures in here. So, before I open this, I'm going to insert a video of me explaining what Compassion International is, and then we'll dig right in. If you're new here and you have no idea what Compassion International is, let me tell you. Compassion International is a company that allows you to sponsor children all throughout the world and so many different countries. And basically it's a one-to-one -one sponsorship. So as a sponsor, I am paired up with a child in another country and I am their only sponsor. So that creates a very personal bond. Um, so currently I'm sponsoring a little girl named Taya. She's in Ethiopia. And then I'm also a correspondent with a child named Jose and he lives in the Dominican Republic. Now, real quick, the difference between a sponsor child and a correspondent child is that I am also paying a fee monthly to sponsor Taya, right? I'm paying the fee, I'm also doing the writing, sending packages, things like that. However, there are kids that are being sponsored financially but are not getting any packages or not getting any letters written to them. And so what Compassion does is they look for people to then send those letters and send those packages to a child who's already being financially sponsored. So I have a correspondent child and he's in the Dominican Republic. All right, moving on. So let's open it. this is the first page it looks like it's just an outline for me to respond to this letter oh yeah that is what it is um, and this page is if I wanted to include any money a gift amount or something so here is the actual letter Okay, so I'll read it. Um, so the top says my dreams. It says, Dear Kiani, someday I would like to visit Languano. Don't know if I said that right, but it must be a place in Ethiopia. Um, someday I would like to meet she says, Dr. Lemma Magursa. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names, um, but it looks like she wants to meet this doctor. Someday I would like to see Dr. Abi Ahmed, um, another doctor, I guess, that's in Ethiopia. Um, someday I would like to do it says, I want to support my family. Next thing says, I would like to be a, and it says she wants to be a doctor. So I guess that's why she wants to meet all these doctors, because she wants to be one. That's cute. Um, and this last thing says, someday I would like to help my family. And she says, I want to build a house for my dad. Oh, I just realized I skipped this part. This says, someday I would like to meet my sponsor because, and she said, I want to take a photo and thank my sponsor. Oh, there's a back. Okay, so it's back page. She has a prayer request up here. And it says, pray for me and for my family to be healthy and pray for Ethiopia. Um, the next part says, answer, answers the questions from my sponsor. It says, now I am a kindergarten student and my family is a farmer. So I don't know what she means by her family is a farmer. I'm gonna assume that the dads in the family are 
the workers and so maybe he's a farmer but that's probably something I can just include in a letter um, in the future just asking her what she means by that like who works um, the next thing it says thank the sponsor if the child has received a gift it says I have received the money you sent me and I bought trousers shoes and a t-shirt thank you so much and then here it just says um, the person writing and the title of that person if it's not the child and as I mentioned in previous videos she's only four so um, she's not able to write yet and so it says her social worker Omer wrote this and um, as with all the letters, there's a coloring portion. This was already filled in and she colored this. It's really cute. I see she's getting better with her drawings. She's almost got it all in the lines. So it's cute. It's nice to see the progress with each letter. <gasps> Guys, I was right. They included pictures. So here's the first one. <laughs> so adorable, I can't take it. So her hair is in braids. Um, she looks a little less miserable than the first picture I saw her. She has on this kind of like button up floral shirt and some jeans and some sneakers. So I'm wondering if this is like the shirt and the uh, shoes that she bought with the money that I gave her. Just a thought. Let's see. Mm, okay. And here's the second one. She's celebrating her fourth birthday, which was back in December. Um, so cute. I can't get over these cheeks. They're so like puffy and adorable. This made my day it's kind of hard in the beginning um when you're first writing to them because you kind of feel like you're not really getting anywhere it's hard to get real information from them um but i feel like we're making progress here now i know some of the things like what she wants to do in the future and who she looks up to so in the near future when i'm ready to send an actual package i can center those things around what she likes and what she likes to do so now knowing that she wants to go into medicine, she's inspired by these doctors, she wants to be a doctor. I mean, she's four, so I'm sure it's possible that it doesn't change, but I can include some things in there with nurses and doctors. And now that I know someone in her family farms, I can include farming animals and things like that. So, yeah, excited. I just keep looking at these pictures. So that was all that was in my envelope. Um, I will most likely laminate this letter as well and just, you know, create like a binder of letters. And in terms of the pictures, I'll, I might laminate them and, and hang them up, but I'm definitely gonna hang them up on my wall. Just, I wanna wake up and see her. Um, I wanna point her out to my son so you can start to recognize her face. But yeah, that concludes my video opening this sponsor letter. So as always, if you have any questions for me about sponsoring, about Compassion International, about my experience, um, how long things take to come and go, and things like that, whatever it may be, let me know in the comments and I will get right back to you. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!